One and breaking news this morning. The person who admitted to uh, hitting the 49ers fan in Los Angeles at the Niners Rams game has been arrested. Yeah, he's claiming self defense uh, when he and Daniel Luna tangled up there in the parking lot outside of the stadium. He is still in a coma. Luna is. And Cromford's Will Tran actually live for us out at Levi Stadium. And Will, you've been digging on this story. I understand you actually had a chance to speak with Inglewood's mayor. I call this personal cell phone. I just got off the phone with Inglewood Mayor James Butts about 10 minutes ago, and he confirmed that, yes, they did make an arrest in the overnight hours after this person turned himself in. This person has made bail and is at home this morning. Now, Daniel Luna, he was at the game on Friday by himself. He flew down to see the 49ers. He never made it into the ballpark as it was SoFi security staff that saw him on the ground. They were the ones who called the paramedics to rush him to the hospital. Talking to the mayor, here are new details. We do know, and he has been able to clear up some of the confusion. He says it was not a suspect in a Rams jersey. He said he made a mistake. He meant to say red jersey, meaning a 49ers jersey or a T-shirt, and that Luna was wearing a white Jersey, white t shirt, also a Niners jersey, and they were in a Niners tailgating area. More details about this. According to the mayor, he says that Luna was the aggressor, that he was the one who pushed the suspect, then the suspect pushed him back, and then Luna pivoted. That's when the suspect punched him in the face, and that's when Luna fell back hit his head on the concrete, and we all know, James and Daria, it is that concrete that really does a lot of damage, and five days later, he's still in a medically induced coma for his protection. They will hold a news conference down in Inglewood at 9 o'clock this morning, so less than one hour from now. The mayor did say that after he gets off the phone with me that he would speak to the police chief with the Inglewood Police Department and they will perhaps jointly hold a news conference for the very latest details. As far as this suspect is concerned, his name not being released to the public. He is the only one arrested and no, they have not released the surveillance footage yet, but you never know once the news conference begins. But he says he did make a mistake and he apologizes for it that I know a lot of people might go, it might be the Rams, Niners rivalry that might have played a role in this, but he says he meant to say red, not Rams, when he held that news conference last night. Back to you. Oh, great job getting that confirmation, Will. And just to clarify, our newsroom has been told perhaps in the nine o'clock hour that press conference may happen. Is that what you're hearing as well? We are hearing 9 o'clock this morning. We have our sister station down there, and I'm sure they are hustling to get to the scene as well. This is the biggest story down in Los Angeles, a big story here, and it's made national attention. So if we can probably try to, we might even be able to carry that news conference live as it happens. Yeah. But again, this was just a bang-bang thing, meaning a span of five seconds. He wanted to clarify, especially to the Bay Area, and you'll laugh at this. So my cell phone has a 415 area code. He doesn't have my number into his contacts, but once he saw 415, he said, uh-oh, San Francisco is calling. And I said, absolutely, it's a big story here as well. And we spoke for about 10 minutes. So he knows the gravity of this story, and he wanted to clarify, especially with Brian Stowe being from the Bay Area, he wanted to clarify that this is not similar to Brian Stowe, where he was savagely beaten mm -hmm. in the parking lot after a Dodgers-Giants game, yeah. Stowe being a Giants fan. And in this case, it only lasted about five seconds, and the suspect turned himself in. Okay. Thanks Thank a lot, Will. Will.